Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today's video is a what's in my hospital bag and like diaper bag type video. I have both things for me and the new baby in my um, bag here and I've been going crazy watching these videos so I wanted to Hello. upload mine and um, let me know down below if you guys want me to film a what I actually used in my hospital bag video. The bag that I'm using is just a um, BB little like carry-on bag and at first I was going to use like a duffel bag but I just felt like this is easier to like roll around and um, if you're new here I am scheduled to be induced in a couple of days so I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital. With my first I was not in the hospital long at all. I was in there 24 hours after I gave birth and I was in labor for about 18 hours so I was wearing a hospital gown pretty much the entire time by the time I showered and like got ready and was like um like able to like go through my bag it was already time to go home but this time around I might actually need some of this stuff so I packed a lot differently. The first things that I'm packing are my two um, robes. So I ordered this one on Amazon and I will link it, link it down below. It was only like $8 um, or $9 and it's like an exact dupe for the um, pink blush maternity. Um, as far as like quality goes, it was only $9 and it was a little bit different than the color pictured, but I thought for labor and just for maybe some pictures after um, some having some more options some and having something that if I ruined, I wouldn't be too upset about. So I did get that off of Amazon and then this robe is from Pink Blush Maternity. It's just black with a little lace and I figured I could wear this as well. Um, like if I have to walk the halls before or even after and it's super super comfy so I also brought this little pajama set it is like a pre-pregnancy one so I'm not sure um, how comfy it's gonna fit it's just these like shorts mm -hmm. and um, like a little button-up So I thought maybe after birth, maybe like that night, if no one is um, like coming and not for pictures just to switch out because I do recommend switching out of the hospital, um, hospital gown. I personally stayed in mine the whole time with my daughter, but I feel like you would feel a lot better if you brought some PJs and just put on your own clothes, even though... Um, you're recovering, you're not feeling good. I just think that it is a better idea to bring some of your own clothes um, and just kind of start that like feeling like you're in recovery. Also picked up this dress that's like the dress version of that PJ, which I think that th this will be a lot more comfortable. And I would wear this like for pictures, maybe when she comes to meet her sister or just like pictures of um, me and my husband and the new baby. Also have a pair of like my really comfy PJ capris. These are from Walmart. Um, and I don't, like a lot of people will go out and buy a ton of new things. I feel like just going to like Walmart or even Target, getting like the best deals because you don't know if things are going to get ruined or if they're going to get dirty, like you're like bleeding a lot after you have a baby. So these are just like comfy little pants that I've been wearing now that I'm pregnant and they're just like a capri length pant. So I thought this could be another option and then I just brought this um, tank top it's from forever 21 I just like went up a size to be able to wear it during my pregnancy for my husband I just brought um, some socks some extra socks um, then a pair of boxers just in case it's like the middle of the night or um, not the middle of the night, just in case he has to come straight from work and he wants to shower and we're going to be there for a while or something like that because I do still have a couple of days to, um, before I could go into labor like myself and not be induced. Um, but we live like eight minutes from the hospital. So if he wants to shower, I'm sure he would just come home and shower or change. Um, so I don't really think I need to like overly pack for him. I might add in a shirt and some sweatpants, but... 
so far I think that's really all I'm going to bring for him. And I also picked up today from Target these leggings. I just wanted like a cheap pair of leggings that I didn't care about getting dirty um, or getting messy or possibly like staining or whatever. Um, these were only $7 and they are the Wild Fable. They're supposed to be like a little bit high-waisted. They're more like a mid, um, I feel like a middle waist, but yeah, these are just a little pair of leggings and this is what I would wear to go home. I also packed a pair of socks for me, but they're not like the grip socks, so I don't know if I'd actually wear these, but I just thought if my feet get cold and like the time where I'm stuck in the bed and I can't get out after like the epidural, um, that I would have those. Like a sports bra. I'm going to pack my nursing bras. Just thought about that. I also have another pair of leggings. These are just maternity leggings from um, Motherhood Maternity that I've been wearing throughout my pregnancy. They're super, super comfy. So that was another option to wear home. And then I just brought like a loose fitting, this is like a Mickey Mouse t-shirt and also one of my favorite, just like around the house, like workout, super loose, super comfy t-shirt. And that's another option to wear home. It just really depends how I feel, how I'm looking after, and all of that. Thing. There are things, obviously, that I'm going to have to add right when I go into labor or right before I go. Um, but for the most part, I wanted everything to be just, like, packed because I don't know how intense things will be once they get started. So, um, I just have a bar of soap, the Dove soap, a little deodorant, and a little body wash, and my husband can share this with me if he wants to shower there, but I do have to pack our toothbrushes and our toothpaste, and I, um, I'm just going to use this for my face wash, and then this is obviously for my body wash, or I can still use the soap. I don't mind bar soap, and I, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be there super long. I'm not going to be doing like a full-on skincare routine or anything like that in the hospital, so just those quick few things and then I also bought a lot of you guys have been saying that you picked up the like always depends and you like those a lot better than like the little mesh underwear that they give you um after birth so I picked up um a package of these and I just stuffed um like four or five of those in my um in my suitcase and I will show you how it looks right now. Use the mess all around. This room's like crazy right now. There's some like lighting back there. But this is just what it's looking like right now. So this side is like all the stuff I just showed you. The um the like little depends are in this these pockets and then everything for baby is up here. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff. Okay, so now I'm on to all of the baby stuff. First thing that I have like laying on top is this little um, chalkboard like welcome baby kind of sign. And I got this from Target in the dollar spot um, a month or two ago. And it was only $3 and I was like, wow, this is so cute. Like I thought this was the cutest thing when I saw it and I just had to have it. So. Um, this is just for like the little bassinet pictures that you take when the baby is born and like to kind of post their first picture and just prop it up and I thought this was cute because you just fill it in and um, I'm going to take a couple of pictures with this and then I'm also going to do a couple of pictures with the felt board. I don't know if I'm going to use this for sure. I, I kind of like the chalkboard better but when I'm asking people, a lot of people really like the felt board better. So this is another option. This is just how they look side by side. This is a little bit smaller. I might just put like a cute little quote on here or like welcome baby or something like that. This was also from Target and the little um, felt letters came separately and they were $3 and then the board was $3. And then I have the two swaddles that I want to wrap her in to take like her first little pictures like our first family of four pictures and um like with the little announcement how I was saying and I got these from wow. Hobby Lobby I can try to link them down below um but they were uh, very inexpensive and then I have some chalk to write on the chalk 
um, board. I have a couple of props in case we want to take some pictures like on the bed. And these are just like angel wings. This is from Hobby Lobby. And this is like a little tutu. It says uh, 0 to 12 months. So these are cute. If I don't use these in the hospital, I will use these for like newborn pictures. So I'm bringing them just in case. I packed this little blue tutu. My daughter took some pictures in this when she was born. So I got that one just in case I want to get pictures in that as well. I packed some random like receiving blankets just to use for like burp cloths. Packed some of these headbands just to go with the little wraps. And also this one. And then a bunch of onesies here. Um, two of these are long sleeves. I'm not sure if I'll even use them. And then just like white ones and then designed ones. I have two options for her coming home outfit. So I really like this here. I think it's the cutest little thing. And this was in my baby girl haul. And then I also have this, which is like long sleeves and a little hat. So I guess it depends what size she is because this is a newborn. And this is a zero to three months. So it just depends how big she comes here, um, what I will decide to use for her going home outfit. So then I'm also going to be bringing my camera, um, of course, and my laptop, but some of those things obviously will not get packed until right before, so I have a little list in my phone of things that I want to make sure I pack and make sure I don't forget at the last minute. And, um, yeah, I think that that's it. Please let me know down below. Hopefully I post this before I go into labor. If you think I forgot anything or if you have any, like, helpful tips, that would be really, really great. Please don't forget to subscribe for all of the newborn content coming your way. I'm going to do some day in, the life, day in the life vlogs with a toddler and a newborn. I'm definitely going to be doing a birth video and a birth vlog. And, um, like I said, I can do the what I actually used in my hospital bag video um what else is there i feel like there's a few more i have a ton a ton of newborn content coming your way and also like the cleaning videos and all of that it'll all be in there i'm going to try my best to have the birth vlog up one week from um the time that she's born so i'm going to be editing that hopefully in the hospital at night when she sleeps if she sleeps fingers crossed and i will see you guys in the next video bye